What is up everybody? Welcome to Alt Knots. I hope that you're having a fantastically witchy day today. I know that I am because I am just frantically getting ready for the Hocus Pocus 2 premiere, which I have found out that it is premiering at 3 a.m. Eastern time. So obviously I'm gonna have to stay up for that and watch it as soon as it comes out. If I'm wrong, if it's been announced differently, please let me know in the comments down below. But that's the time that I have on my list of when I'm gonna be experiencing Hocus Pocus 2 for the first time. And yes, I have an entire list. Like my entire day is written out for just Hocus Pocus 2 day. Literally so many different things. I have all three pairs of the Sanderson Sister crocheted socks worked up, ready to go. I will probably wear all three of them throughout the day. Honestly, I should put that on my list. Like when am I gonna change them out? <laughs> wear a new pair. And I plan on making an entirely new pair during the premiere because I have more Hocus Pocus yarn coming. But along with that, what I have to chat today about is some more super witchy yarn. This is yarn from Boss Kitty Shop, which I'm super, super excited about because honestly, this entire line of yarn is just, it's ridiculous. I love it so much. It's in the best way, ridiculous, in that every single hank of yarn has its own personality, its own characteristics, obviously its own punny name, and that is one of the main things that I love about Boss Kitty, is that every single hank of yarn, it has its backstory. It's sassy and punny. Two of my favorite things, but in yarn form. A couple of videos back, I unboxed my very first two hanks of yarn that I got from Boss Kitty, which are right here, and we voted on what, what should this turn into. So this is turning into an ectoplasm sl limey witchy purple hat currently making up the pattern for this so this is taken this is all ready to go though it is just like chilling in the yarn dungeon right now as decor it's already done like just imagine it in hat form it's ready to go however the yarn that I have today does not have any plans for it because this was sent to me from boss kitty and I just honestly I screamed I was the only one in the house and I screamed with joy it's okay and when I show you you'll understand why but this is the Toil and Trouble set, and we're gonna get into it. First glimpse of the Toil and Trouble in the Yarn Dungeon. First thing that I'm drawn to, obviously there's a lot going on that I'm like, yes, I love every single bit of this. The yarn colors, the combination, the names of everything on the back, I love it. But let's look first and foremost at the tags. Okay, that one's upside down. They have designed their tags to make it super spooky. You know that I love all of these tiny little details put together, and Boss Kitty is just like phenomenal at that. Like this wasn't just a, we're gonna do a couple of different Halloween colors. No, it was like an entire collaboration all together, toil and trouble, colors, tags, names, everything pulls together and just delightfully Halloween. Super witchy. Yes, super witchy. I almost forgot about my pumpkin spice latte. That would have been so odd doing an entire video with you and not having coffee and especially pumpkin spice latte right now. That would have been so bizarre. Now, let's start with the very first one here. This super purpley one. My eyes were drawn to this probably because that's the colors that's chilling in the yarn dungeon. So I was like, oh my gosh, that totally matches. That's the one we're going to start with. So if you go to bosskittyshop.com right now on the very front page, you see that there are two different sets. There is the basic witch edition. Again, gotta love the names. And then the extra witch edition. Fantastic. Zoom in. That's what you're gonna see on the front page right this second. And these are all pre-order right now. Uh, join us in celebrating all the witches we've ever loved. This five skein set is inspired by some of the most powerful and fabulous witches in pop culture history. I love all of that right away. Love all of that. Each set comes with four skeins of Cat's Cradle and one skein of Kitty Glitter. All skeins are fingering weight yarn. This is rather important because you and I are going to be deciding what I'm doing with this yarn today. Again, this yarn is not designed for decor. Like, it must be turned into something. Obviously, it's gorgeous and I totally could and I do have something while I'm waiting to work up with it. I have this little, little spiderweb tray. This is where I'm going to be 
placing them and probably in the back here until I figure out what to make with them. Especially once we get to October, which is in a matter of days now, this needs to be actively worked into something. So keep that in mind. Fingering weight yarn, there are five skeins. I could do one project with each. I could do one project with all of them. Seriously, sky is the limits with this. There is full pictures of the entire set and then there's also blown up pictures of each skein individually, which I really, really love because here, I'll just show you what I mean. They have, not only do they have a close up of the skein, but they have it all laid out. So you can kind of see, or like imagine how this color is going to work up, which I totally appreciate that. You get a, like a better look at the gradient of it. Shrink down. There we go. So there are two different ones in there. Like I said, Cat's Cradle and Kitty Glitter. Let's start with the Cat's Cradle because there are four different ones in here. First one is Maximum Results. This is the one that drew my attention seriously straight away. And I'm living for this tag. Like seriously, I'm living for this tag. I do save all of my favorite tags. Well, I save all my tags throughout the month and then I normally just like glance back through them. No, this one is going to be saved like forever and for always because as usual, we have the little cutout of the kitty paw too. Oh, and then it says the name, the toil and trouble on the side here with the broomstick. So much attention to detail. It is just like so fun to look through. And then on this side, we have a little crow or a raven sitting on top of a skull. Like I said, maximum results from the tales of King Saul and the Witch of Endor to the trials of ungodly women in the 1600s, witches have been the primary thorn in the side of the patriarchy for as long as history can remember. But as the passage of time often does, those once told tales of terror are now children's story with themes that range from cautionary to fantastic to the absurd. It is with a smile and nod towards the rebellion of the spirit and the power to undermine the authority of a culture that would see them extinguished that we offer up the set of color ways to celebrate the often silly but always enjoyable expression of the witch in our world of modern media. Okay, again, fantastic. Speaking of modern media, visit us on Instagram. <laughs> so it has a little boss kitty Instagram tag, which if you haven't checked out their Instagram, seriously, go check that out like right now. I'll wait. It's totally fine. You can come back. On the side, we have Cat's Cradle, and then it tells you everything about the material of this color. This is so freaking soft. Like I can't even describe, it's so soft because every single colorway that you order from different makers, like they all vary, right? And this is just unbelievably soft. And this color I'm dying for. Pretty much a black all the way to light witchy purple. There's a little bit of speckly over here. I am so excited to cake this up and see what it's gonna look like. Okay, you know me, you know that I wanna make a cardigan out of this. <laughs> like do granny squares with every single color, mash them together, probably use the zigzag stitch. And honestly, that's what I'm thinking right now. If there's any objections, please shout it out in the comment. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep rolling with that. 460 60 yards, fingering weight, sock yarn, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It does say that all on their site too, so you can check it out there as well. 1,313% witch please. The puns never end at Boss Kitty, which is one of the reasons I adore them. So you have to check the whole label out. Like seriously, every time you get one of these, check it out. There's probably something new and or something that you've forgotten about on the tag. The last thing is the care on here. Boss Kitty recommends the following for knitwear, hand wash if possible, lay flat to dry, do not iron. Honestly, these are pieces of art. I would never imagine throwing them in the washer or dryer. No, take love and care with every single hank of these. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the cat's cradle. You will know when we get to the kitty glitter because it is like glitter explosion all on it, I promise. Gotta make sure that tag is out because it's fantastic. The second one is fly with our spirit. The inspiration is Kiki's delivery service, which honestly, again, if you have not seen any of these movies that we talk about, or you have not seen these iconic witch characters, please, please check them out. Like now's the time, especially the fact that we're in spooky season. Absolutely check them out. Again, beautiful little bits of speckles. This is going to be so freaking cool. Okay. So put them together and that's going to be sick. 
like if I decide to do the granny square cardigan unless we have other things that we're like okay maybe we should do that but I haven't done a cardigan in a very long time so I'm feeling it I feel like this might be the push that I need for that everything is the same on the tag but again I do just need to show you obviously the kitty is adorable kitty cauldron love it third one is come we fly which is hocus pocus inspired Sanderson sisters all mashed together in one hank. So these ones, I definitely want socks, but I think it's just because I've been making so many Hocus Pocus themed crochet socks that I'm like, okay, go, let's just make some more. Obviously I need more and more and more. This one is really cool on the side too, because we have the punch out and you can see the purple with a little bit of speckled green in there. This almost looks like a moss green and I am living for that. Number three, we have Make My Monster Grow, Rita of the Power Rangers. This is just cozy. The entire Hank screams, I need a pumpkin spice latte. I need it to be 43 degrees. All the leaves have changed on the tree. Pumpkins are everywhere. Jack-o'-lanterns have actually been cut out and have been lit for the night. That's what this screams to me. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just loving the speckles. Like seriously, number four, all together and decide if this must be a cardigan. And then the very last one is the cat's cradle. And so this is the one that is fingering and sock weight yarn, but it is a glittery type of yarn. Derwood's Vein and Dora from Bewitched. If you see the inspiration picture of this, it looks absolutely spot on to that. The slimy green, I love it so much. Like you honestly can't even see it picked up super well because it is so intensely slimy green. There we go. We can see the sparkle a lot better here. I had to move my light a little bit. It is necessary because there's just sparkle all over it and again, and it's not that sparkle, obviously it's not sparkle that comes off. It's not glitter that's gonna be on your hands because we're not here for that. And it's not rough either. The metallic strand that's in here is super, super fine. Let's see if I can show it a little better. It's incredibly fine. You do not feel it in any way, shape or form. I would say this would be fantastic for making socks because even me, I'm very particular with sensory when it comes to my socks. So if there is a metallic strand that I can really, really feel, I just don't enjoy it. It's just not for me. There is no way I'm gonna be able to feel this. It is hardly different at all. When you feel the two side by side, yeah, and you close your eyes, you would not be like, oh, this has metallic in it and this one doesn't. No, you'd just be like, they're really, really soft hanks of yarn. That's it. All five together. <laughs> this looks so great. Not gonna be decor permanently. This is just while I'm thinking about it and because I'm obsessed with these tags, it must be out in the yarn dungeon. Like, there's no way I could put these away in a drawer or even like on my shelf. No, this has to be out probably over there. We'll probably move the skeletons or something like that. I don't know, but it, it needs to go out right today. Boss Kitty is also doing a lot of things through Halloween. So if you have not subscribed to their channel yet, definitely go and subscribe. It is seriously so much fun. If you like to have someone to chat with as you're crocheting or knitting or weaving or literally anything with fiber, it is so so much fun. It's an interactive show. There's games that go on. There's lots of confetti happening all the time. So if you love the glitter yarn, you're gonna love the confetti everywhere. But one thing in particular, they are having a Halloween party. I'm just holding on to this one because like we're besties already. They will be giving away this entire set. So all five of them here, I keep getting my cardigan cotton in. All of these will be up for grab, an entire set for one lucky winner on Halloween during their party. If you're wanting to get into this giveaway because why wouldn't you? I mean, gorgeous yarn, spooky for Halloween, absolutely. First and foremost, head over to Boss Kitty right this second and subscribe. Then during the entire month of October, any single one of their lives that they have up, simply comment something. It literally just says comment anything more than hi. But I mean, once you're in the live stream, it's very easy to do because we like to chit chat yarn. So it's not like it's that difficult in any way, shape or form. Simply just comment on any 
any one of the videos that they have during October. They're gonna gather everything all up together, all of the comments. Halloween, when they have their live stream, their Halloween party, they will go ahead and choose a winner for this entire line of yarn. We need to look at them all together one more time just to see if little squares, little grainy squares, I mean, obviously they go together. Seriously, it would just be the ultimate spooky cardigan. Like some sort of maybe a skull granny square or like a witch's broom. Is that a thing? I feel like I've seen that before. Or a spider or something. A spider would be really, really freaking cool too. They are fingering weight, but I feel like it would totally be worth it. And the drape would just be ridiculous. Okay, so I think that is it, ghouls. Make sure, first and foremost, make sure you head on over to Boss Kitty right now. Subscribe to get yourself into the winning of this entire set here. Make sure you come and hang out in the lives very often. I am in the comments as well. It ends up being like the perfect time for me because it's time of day where I'm sitting down to work on projects just for myself. So right now I have a blanket going and I have some socks and they're just like just for me type of projects. And it's really, really nice to have that in the background of like someone to chit chat with. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, go ahead and check this out on their site. They're there right now. Pre-order is open. It is happening, but only until October 7th. Head over there sooner rather than later. And that is it for me today. So thank you for hanging out with me, checking out these yarns. If you commented down below what you think that I should use them, thank you ahead of time. I will be choosing something from the comments. If a cardigan does not win, which would kind of make my spooky heart a little bit sad, but if it doesn't win, I will definitely be choosing something from the comments down below. So make sure you shout out what you want to see these worked up into. But for today, that is it. So have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.